Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial video. So today we'll be creating a simple poster design uh, just using gradient map on Photoshop. So let's explore some gradient map technique on Photoshop together. And uh, regarding uh, my Blender tutorial, uh, till now I just got like uh, six or seven uh, request for ben blender tutorial so once it hit up to 100 then i'll post the video for sure uh, so here we are in photoshop and first thing first let's create a composition so for that go to file click on new so i will just go for 8 over 8 and resolution to 300 and color mode to rgb and bitrate to 16 and let's keep the rest as default uh, let's click on create then drag and drop this image over here all right and let's convert it as a smart object and control t let's make it bigger and let's make it maybe right around this size all right now let's make uh, let's add a hue and saturation so go over here add a hue and saturation and let's drop down the saturation all the way to the down and now let's select the layer go to the filter go to the camera raw filter and uh, let's uh, uh, increase the clarity and let's increase the texture too and let's uh, increase the noise reduction and let's increase the color noise reduction too and from here let's drop down the highlights and let's increase the shadow just a little touch yeah maybe something like that and let's click on ok now let's add a gradient map so go over here add a gradient map and from here let's change the gradient color so let's change the dark color to maybe kind of darker red and let's change the white to a kind of brighter red yep maybe some maybe something like this all right and now let's create a shape so go over here let's add a shape maybe right around this size let's click on control and click this rectangle and let's make a selection and turn off the visibility for this rectangle layer and let's go to the gradient map layer and click on that layer max and let's fill that with black color so here we have now control D to make a deselect now let's add a new layer and let's go to edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50% gray and let's change it to soft light and let's do some dodge and burn so go over here let's add some dodge maybe some dodge and right over here maybe some parts over here too and maybe some parts over here and some over here too and let's add some burn tool too so go over here let's add some burn and here we go let's add some burn over here and right over here too let's add some over here and let's add some over here too and here we go so this is before and this is after and now let's uh, merge this layer so ctrl shift alt and e to make a merge so here we have everything merged in a new layer now let's go to the filter and let's apply a neural filter uh, and these filters are like so strong i really like those so let's click on style transfer and let's apply yeah maybe let's apply this one and let's go over here let's click on focus object and preserve color so that everything will be in same color and maybe let's increase the strength some more yeah maybe something like that and let's in decrease the brightness it's a little down yep maybe something like that and let's click on ok and now let's change the blending mode to overlay so this is what we have and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch yep maybe something like that 
and now let's add some text so go over here let's add some text and let's change the font uh, to maybe like make some uh, bold and let's add some text yep or something like that and now let's add a main text right over here let's go over here let's add a text and for this one i will just go for uh, uh this font rock rock brush so I'll go over here apply this font and let's change it to a t r i o t s control t let's make it bigger and maybe let's keep it maybe right over here and let's add a drop shadow so go over here add a drop shadow and yep maybe write something like that now let's make a copy Control j and let's move it right over here and let's change the text to or something like that now let's make it a little smaller Control t let's keep it right over here and let's add some uh, shape element so go over here and let's click on custom shape and from here let's see maybe I'll just go for this cross and let's add one right over here and let's change the color to white and let's make a copy alt and drag and let's select both and let's make a copy alt and drag let's keep it right over here and now let's add some uh, small rectangle shapes let's change the fill to white and let's make a copy Control j and let's move it all right now let's make a copy of this cross so drag and drop Control t let's make a rotation alt and drag let's make a rotation let's add maybe some one over here yep from here let's go for this one and let's add one right over here and let's change the color to white and let's drop down the opacity and let's make a copy Control j Control t and let's keep it one right over here so yep that's the wrap up for today's video and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and again if you want to learn about blender just comment me down on the bottom so with that note let's wrap up this video and see you guys in the next tutorial <laughs>